We're gonna map the human brain. So what do we get out of that? Anthony here for DNews, and the Obama administration just announced the Brain Activity Map Project. Over the next 10 years, for $3 billion, federal agencies and private foundations are gonna work together to find out exactly how the human brain works. Now, the brain is a complex thing. We have a lot of general knowledge about it. We can point to it and go, oh, the frontal lobe controls behavior and emotion, and the parietal lobe controls basic movements and sensation, that sort of thing, general stuff. But we've got about 100 billion neurons firing in there, and general knowledge is not gonna cut it if we wanna make the next big advances in medical and behavioral science. Now, the brain activity map is being compared to the Human Genome Project in terms of costs and benefits. The Human Genome Project spent about $3.9 billion over 13 years mapping all the genes in human DNA. Expensive, yeah time-consuming, sure. But it's estimated that it's reaped about $800 billion in benefits. Like what? Well, we can see what sort of diseases are genuinely genetic, and then we can diagnose them easily and cheaply and work even faster towards eradicating them entirely. You can pay $79, spit in a tube, and get an entire genetic history of yourself. That is amazing. And the idea is that the brain activity map is going to have the same huge repercussions. The Human Genome Project is basically, we can see if you're predisposed to having something like Alzheimer's or Parkinson's. The brain activity map is, we can see what genuinely happens to you when you're being affected by those diseases, and then we can begin correcting it. We'll be able to understand more about human perception and actions. We'll even unlock how human consciousness works, how much of our thoughts and personalities are created by our life experiences, and then how much of it is just wired into us. Big questions are going to get answered. The Brain Activity Map is not the only project that's looking to do this. In another video, I talked about the Blue Brain Project, which is run by the EPFL in Switzerland. Their goal is to create a working simulation of the human brain entirely inside a computer based on our knowledge of how neurons work. The brain activity map isn't necessarily going to use those same methods. The details haven't really been laid out yet. But one idea involves putting machines the size of molecules into an actual human brain. And then the machines are going to be equipped with sensors and hard drives that store brain data using DNA as the storage medium. What? Yeah. Yes. Now, however they decide to move forward, the brain activity map is poised to fundamentally change our knowledge of human beings. The details of the project are expected to be released as early as next month, at which point I am genuinely going to freak out. This is me at only half freak out levels, if you can believe that. What have you always wanted to know about the human brain? Let me know and subscribe for more D News.